on that story, we can go across to France 24's Yena Lee standing by at the Elysee Palace. Yena, uh, good morning to you. Who's stopping by today? Well, the horse trading continues as Emmanuel Macron does try to find some common ground with the opposition. Four political party leaders are stepping by at the Elysee Palace this Wednesday. Two from the opposition and two close allies to the president. The France unbowed Adrien Quatennens, an MP and a heavyweight of the far left, is set to come at 11 a.m. Paris time. The France unbowed is a party that convinced the socialists, the Greens and the communists to join them in a parliament. Um, during the parliamentary elections in a left-wing alliance called NUPES. And the founder of that party, Jean-Luc Mélenchon, suggested Tuesday uh, that NUPES become a political grouping in parliament. That's something their partners immediately uh, rejected, saying that it was an electoral coalition and not a parliamentary one. The France Unbowed Party and their partners have campaigned on becoming a loud and strong for voice in Parliament to oppose Emmanuel Macron's neoliberal policies. So it's quite unlikely that Adrien Quatennens and Emmanuel Macron will see eye to eye on, on many uh, issues uh, this Wednesday. Another opposition figure visiting is Julien Bayou. We saw him a, a little earlier. He also ran an opposition campaign. So it probably be very difficult for them to find a, a common ground. Two other political leaders are to visit uh, from uh, the centre-right parties, small, small centre-right parties that uh, are in alliance already with the centrist movement. Uh, Franck Riester and Edouard Philippe, two former ministers under Emmanuel uh, Macron, they've been working closely with the president's uh, coalition. Philippe uh, notably is a heavyweight as he is popular with the French public and uh, a former prime minister, he's been calling for a wide uh, coalition. He's likely to try and convince uh, uh, MPs of the centre of right, a Republican party, to jump ship, uh, as the centre right does have a lot of lot in common with Emmanuel Macron's uh, economic uh, policies. And this comes after a Tuesday's meeting between Les Républicains' head Christian. Jacob and Emmanuel Macron, where uh, Jacob refused to enter any sort of a uh, coalition. You know, there's been a lot of discussion over who will control the Finance Committee in Parliament. Why is this important? Well, it's perhaps the most uh, prestigious uh, committee in the Parliament. It's one that controls the state's uh, finances and can be a real uh, sort of counter uh, power to the uh, ec economy and finance uh, ministry. So a very important committee indeed. And since 2009, the National Assembly's rules states that uh, the leader of that committee should come from the biggest opposition Group now, uh, the far right's national, the national rally um, argues that it should be theirs because they have 89 seats in parliament, making them the biggest parliamentary, the biggest party in um, the opposition. Nupes, however, that left-wing coalition has 133 seats, and they are the largest parliament, the op largest opposition force. Uh, but uh, their opposition force is divided up into several parties, and their largest party is the France Unbowed with 72 seats. So both sides trying to argue that it's up to their, them and their uh, pol politicians to head that very uh, influential uh, committee. It'll be up to the ruling party to decide. So we'll see the result of that in the days to come. Yeah, no, thank you very much.